Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Lab. My name is Marco Martinez, and today we are uh, having a small intro to Autopilot, a new service launched by Twilio. Uh, was recently uh, released and announced a couple of days ago. Uh, Autopilot it's a voice and text uh, bot service, so you can create your own chatbots on Twilio and hooked up uh, and hooked your your bot to different channels. Uh, for this uh, part one video intro, we are, we are creating a small chatbot, a very simple chatbot uh, with only one uh, uh, response, uh, only one query type, only one task, and it's going to be very simple. Um, uh, we are connecting also, uh, we're connecting that chatbot to Slack. So again, I have here on the screen a small diagram of what we are uh, trying to achieve. So we have our user uh, interacting with Slack. So sending messages to a Slack channel that we are also going to create in a minute. Uh, on a Slack, uh, on the we are adding uh, something called outgoing webhooks. Uh, what this allows is to basically on every every time that we send something to a Slack to uh, generate or to post that content content to a to a URL. In this case, it's a it's a URL that. Uh, Twilio it's gonna provide us so let's start so let's go to our Twilio console and uh, I also want to show you something so this is also the, the official documentation if you go to twilio.com forward slash docs uh, forward slash autopilot you will find the current information uh, let's also remember that as right now uh, the service autopilot it's currently on beta state so let's start so if uh, on your console go to the left side and click on autopilot uh, brand new icon that's it's actually very cool uh, let's start and create a new assistant let's name this cloud love submit that and we have let's overview each of the of, of our menu options so we have our overview tasks builder natural language router logs and channels so if we click first on task task builder uh, here is where we create create our actions so for example if uh, if let's say if you want to order a pizza that's like uh, that's that's the, the 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 phrase that your bot will detect to trigger an action so in this case it's going to be order a pizza no so again tasks are a set of actions uh, you, you can have as many as you want and each of your actions can either say something back to the user uh, query the user on something uh, that you want to fill uh, redirect the user to flex or task router, task router. so you have a lot of uh, flexibility in here uh, then if we go to natural language router here is where we train our bot so for example uh, i was uh, telling um, a second ago that for example we want to train our bot to detect uh, uh, i want to order order a pizza so in here we want to specifically add specifically add that phrase i want to order a pizza and use the drop, the drop down menu from uh, on the task selection and select order pizza uh, so we want to when our bot to recognize that phrase and trigger a task uh, once uh, the bot uh, detects that phrase uh, then next we have locks locks are very useful so for for example every time that our bot detects uh, a new query uh, you will see here which uh, task was detected which fields also were detected uh, and types so it's useful for troubleshooting and it's useful for for uh, optimizing your bot uh, to retrain your bot if necessary and the last uh, channels so we have currently we all, we have a couple of channels available obviously you can use uh, Twilio voice services SMS services Alexa and Slack uh, coming, coming soon we have uh, Google Assistant, line Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp uh, that are coming soon coming soon so uh for this uh, part one intro where I'm, I'm choosing slack because it's very easy to set up and very easy to train your bot and i have results uh very fast basically so uh, so let's start creating our bot uh, task builder 
So for my bot, I want to have a very simple action. I want to my bot to to answer a very simple question. And it's what is Twilio? So to tell me back what what is Twilio. So for that, let me just go to Wikipedia Wiki uh, Twilio. So I yeah, Wikipedia here. So I want my bot to respond uh, with this paragraph. So basically, Twilio it's a cloud communications platform. So let me add a new task. It's Twilio underscore info, and you can name your yours as you want. Click save, and now if I click on the Twilio info, it will display the number of actions that are associated with this task. So again, we can say something back to the user. We can query the user. So we have different actions, and we will review each each one of those actions in future episodes. But for this episode, for for uh, for part one, we just want to say something back to the user who once we detect or once we with our bot detects or trigger phrase. So Twilio, comma, it's a cloud communication platform as a service. Let's click save. So we have our first action saved. Now let's click on natural language router. And here uh, again, let's uh, we want to train our bot to detect what what is Twilio. Select the task from our drop down menu. Twilio info at sample. So again, what is we can add lower cases, upper cases again. Uh, Again, Twilio recommends to have at least 10 uh, samples per per task. So again, this will help your bot recognize the user more easily. So uh, Twilio, just simply Twilio, if we just type Twilio, I want that information to be displayed. Uh, Twilio info. Perfect, so we have a couple of, of samples. Uh, so now let's uh, build our model. So again, every time you made a change on your samples, every time that you also made a change on your task, you have to rebuild your model. So I'm gonna use here the example that uh, Twilio's giving me. So to to name my version or my build name as version 0.1. Again, you can you can have multiple versions for your now for your bot so we're pretty much done so we have our we build our bot we have a task and we have a sample that is connected a couple of samples that are connected to our task so let's click an overview and in here uh let's go to properties so from this screen what we need is our account sid and our assistant sid so our, our twilio account sid Let's, uh, I'm gonna just copy paste that information in here. So why we need this information? So for our webhook, so the webhook that Slack is gonna use to publish uh, the messages, uh, we have to uh, basically uh, use this template. So use channels that autopilot that twilio.com forward slash b1 forward slash forward slash your account SID forward slash your uh, auto, autopilot assistant SID. So if I let, let me copy paste this information here at the bottom. Uh, let's replace the variables with uh, with my information. So my uh, my Twilio account SID. And this is the bot that we created at uh, the, the bot, the autopilot bot SID. So we have our, our, our webhook almost ready. So now the step two is uh, let's create a, a, a channel in, in Twilio, I'm sorry, in, in, in Slack and also uh, enable the outbound uh, webhook in, in Slack. So for that, let's go to slack.com forward slash apps. So once I'm go once I, I go there, it will automatically redirect the your the the, the, the redirect me to my workspace that slack.com forward slash apps. So it will change depending on your workspace name. So as you can see I'm logged in right uh, currently I'm logged into my workspace name Marmarty. 
So it will change depending on the workspace that, again, you're currently logged in. So I'm here in the middle, we want to search for outgoing webhooks. So get data out of Slack in real time. Yes, so we want to click on add configuration. We want to click on add outgoing webhooks integration. Um, in here, we just need to scroll down. We're not touching anything here. Uh, here, integration settings. We want to create a new channel just to keep things uh, in, a, in, a, in a special channel. Let's create something called autopilot. That's the, the name of our channel. It's public channel. Trigger words, we're not using any trigger word as right now. And URLs, we are we are going to use the URL that we just that we created a couple of moments ago. So the URL with our account SID and with the assistant SID. Uh, we're done here, so we're just doing some cosmetic changes. We're changing our our integration or integration custom name, and we're also changing the icon, something that reflects more uh, what we are creating so save settings and we're done we're done with slack so if i go to my uh, slack chat window uh, i have here now a new channel that was created or the pilot and if i go and ask what it, I'm sorry, what what is twilio it should work so yes, so as you can see, it's responding back as intended. So Twilio is a it's cloud communications platform as a service. So it's working. So we can try something else. Let's just try Twilio and see if it's working. So as you can see, it didn't work. So let's go here to our autopilot screen. And this is where we are going to troubleshoot using logs. Okay, they didn't receive the, the information, so let's go on Twilio. Okay, yeah, it worked this time. So a small bug on the system, but it, it worked now as intended. So if I go to my Twilio screen logs, uh, you will see that all those, all uh, both queries, the what's Twilio and Twilio are in here. And and what 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 can I do from here is actually uh, use this data use that query to fine tune my bot so I can create a sample so Twilio info at sample so this is if we want to fine tune our bot now to, uh, when we see that our bot is not responding as intended so I this is all for part one I hope you liked it uh, stay tuned for part two where we will actually create a, 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 a bot that will ask the user a couple of questions and to fill in, to fill a form basically uh, using autopilot. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Um,